Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back with Twin Flames and Separation. Um, I'm just gonna get a quick message out here, make this brisk. If you ain't checked out Twin Flames and Union, Reunion and Recognition, it was a bomb message there. You should definitely check that out. Check out all my videos for this week. Astrologies will be dropping tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably going to do half on uh, the astrologies tomorrow morning and then finish up the other half by the end of the night. Um, all day Wednesday and tonight, those who are old readings be expecting your readings between tonight and tomorrow. Okay. Um, so we shuffle these cards at the last reading and we will get started shortly. Divine feminine up top. We got the divine masculine at the bottom. Devil card out oh, shit. Fuck. Ugh. Yeah, check out last reading and then check this one out. Now, overall energy, we got the five of wands. Okay. This is life after union. Four of Wands is union, reunion, and recognition. Five of Wands is life after union. What's life after union? It's separation. Why? Because we live in the world of Four of Cups. Four of Cups is the world. It's 3D, third dimension. It's where your mass and like spending most of the time and shit. You know. Neo from the Matrix. Yeah. All Matrix analogies and shit. I got a few more uh, Tarantino analogies, but mostly Matrix. You know. It's life after union. Something happened. Told you this twin flame shit is a figure eight. You get into union. It's like recognition first. Recognition takes a while. Because you really gotta figure out if this is your twin or not. You know? It's gonna take a lot of trial and error. And then even in recognition, you need to A, recognize the situation. You gotta come out the bag. Took me two years to come out the bag with my masculine. Two years of analyzation, two years of studying this motherfucking man. Two years of really trying to figure this out. Because I thought my twin was a female at one point. I thought I was a divine masculine at one point. I didn't really analyze my situation, my cake. Like I say, the romance, sex, all that shit. That's the icing on the cake. I didn't really analyze my cake. Feel me? Upon analyzing my cake, not only did I recognize my twin, but I recognized who the fuck I was myself. It comes with the whole recognition process. After two years, let the cat out the bag. Let my master know who the fuck I was, who he is, what this is, and hopefully what the fuck is going to be. You know what I'm saying? What happened? Separation. Immediately. Me and this motherfucker, two peas in a pot. From the day I met this man to the day I came out the bag with him. And what I came out the bag is just like I say, I just was like, hey, I'm a divine feminine. You're my divine masculine with twin flames. Because of so, I, I put out a whole list of why. Composed a whole motherfucking damn near a page and a half letter. Let the motherfucking know how I feel. These are all, like I say, the shit is a new experience for me. It's nothing gay at all. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of emotions in this shit. Y'all know. <laughs> it's a lot in this. It was a lot for me to handle. I was just a new booty. Fresh in it. You know? Recognition. Two years. That was a hard separation. That first one. Not the worst. <laughs> I just went through my worst separation, I would say, when I was in Utah and shit. You know? Because we went, we got in Union, I would say, before I left Utah, which was like, God, like 2019 is when I got in a reunion. February 2019, I got in a reunion. And then I would say, like, March, April, back to separation. And one of the hardest separations ever. I got my hardest separation ever after Union. 4 1, that's the Union, right? Yeah, after Union. Some of y'all are experiencing y'all first true separation. True separation. Not like y'all beef, y'all stop calling each other and yeah, and I mean, it's just a couple weeks go by like my twin stopped fucking me for 10 fucking months. That shit. Man. Whew. And you know what I'm saying? The world. It's just what happens. Good shit don't happen all the time. You no, know, you gotta appreciate fucking storms and rain and shit so you can appreciate the sunshine. You gotta appreciate the darkness so you can appreciate the lights. Like me as a kid living in Las Vegas and shit from Chicago. It was like I was wishing for snow. <laughs> but when I came back home, 
I appreciated the snow a little more. You know what I'm saying? The world. World is good, bad, and ugly. That's 33% of good, 33% of ugly. Appreciate the ugly shit that happens in your life because it ain't bad. That's 66% chance of goodness and at least semi-goodness and some ugliness in your life. Cherish the baby steps because 33% of your life is going to be bad. Bad choices, bad people, bad scenarios. Treat every situation the same. Just like the same energy we have with Mother's Day. Let's keep that shit for Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Appreciation here. Let's get back to the reading. <laughs> Bottom line energy. Feminine. Masculine. Y'all saucy. At the end of the day. Sauce. What's that? That's your fingerprint. That's what makes you you. Divine feminine. You saucy in a way. Divine feminine. Queen of Wands. That's divine feminine. That's you. Feminine. Hey, you saucy in a way where you ain't gotta never, ever, ever worry about your position with your feminine. I mean, with your masculine. Ever. 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 When I say ever, I'm saying ever in this manner because I'm so serious. I feel the power of my motherfucking hand from these cars with this sauce right here. Feminine, your sauce is so unique, so second to none. Don't ever fucking worry about your slot with your masculine. But, on the flipper, your sauce so cold. Your divine feminine sauce, six cups of so cold, your divine masculine don't know how to handle it. It's too much to handle. It's draining. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just a lot more ugly than good. But ugly is good because it ain't bad. You dig what I'm saying? Now, two of cups. That's the lover's card. <laughs> feminine, once again, you don't ever have to worry. The sauce so 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 nice. This is gonna always happen. You're always gonna be orbiting your twin. You two are always gonna be in one accord. You two always are gonna be aligned. I told you this is a twin flame demonstration. This shit is eternal. Well, shit. I might not know who my mom, my grandma, my kids. You know what I'm saying? When I when I pass and ascend to the next realm of being, I might not know them. I guarantee, <laughs> guarantee him see my twin again. We were paired up, repair, pairs. It's a pairs. It's eternal shit. Like we ain't divine, Matt. Like what does divine mean to you, right? Bottom line, what's very important here, masculine. What does divine mean to you? This is a divine feminine that's saucy as hell that you're aligned with. You're aligned with a divine feminine. For a reason, figure that shit out, masculine. Feminine, help your masculine figure that shit out. Bottom line, that's just what we had in the union reading. Feminine, I know it's a lot of work you're doing, but get that shit done. Come into the situation, feminine, in the, in the process of getting shit done. We got the Ten of Wands here. This is ending something passionately. Like, passionately putting something to a stop. This is something that you, this is something that's good. Something that you like, something you feel, it might be helping. But it's it's like it's time to put a halt to it. These are actions. It's like whoa, now you just just slow, stopping your horse, getting off that horse and setting that horse free, but getting on foot. Why? Because God told you to. <laughs> it's like why, God? Do I really? It's like why are you even questioning God? That goes with the whole Queen of Cups energy. Like we we got power, we got intuition and trust. Same way our masculine is aligned to us. We align with God like that. Moving on. Hey, something you need to put it into. So put more smoke on that. And, and you ain't gonna like it, but it's gotta get done. Seven of Pentacles is clarifying that. That's the Riri card. That's rearranging shit, reorganizing, removing yourself from something, rehashing on something, reanalyzing, reordering, reobserving. Like, reverse, reverse. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's the move around card, too. Seven Pickles is the move around card. This is moving the fuck around. It's like stopping something you was doing and moving the fuck around. What are you stopping and moving around? This ain't no permanent, and this is just for the moment. Four Wands. Union, reunion, and recognition. Looks like you gotta come home. <laughs> we came into the situation in the world. The Matrix. You and the masculine are in the matrix right now. Usually when Trinity's in the matrix or divine feminines, usually when we're in the matrix, we're doing good in the world. 
world. We're doing good in the world. Usually when the white masculine is in the matrix, this motherfucker's having a ball. Not saying he don't bless and help people. He's a divine masculine. He helps. He blesses. He does what we do. Not the way we do it. But he does it. It ain't even about who does something more than somebody. That's like calculating what you and your boyfriend do for each other and shit. Like, who does that? Just enjoy what you guys do for each other. You don't try to calculate shit because somebody going to get embarrassed at the end of the day. And it ain't about that. <laughs> it ain't about that. It's like you in the Matrix Feminine and it's like God going to call you home. Last reading for those in union, reunion, and recognition. Uh, you was getting called home. Was that the masculine or feminine? Masculine's getting called home. Now the feminine's getting called home. Both of y'all are needed in Zion. Now, in the midst, that's the feminine coming to the situation. Masculine coming to the situation, he's got the devil card. Mr. Agent Smith. Last reading, your masculine left the fucking door open. In the middle of a uh, uh, union, uh, reunion and recognition, for this motherfucker right here. I told you. The Neo Agent Smith complex. They're the same person. Only person in the world. Four cups in the world. That could give Neo some go. As far as fighting. Combat. Fun. Maybe he want Agent Smith to chase him through the sky. You know. Well yeah. Agent Smith knew how to fly in, 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 in Matrix 3. So yeah. He just wanted somebody he can fly through the sky with. Somebody that do the same shit he does. It's worldly shit your masculine's doing, but he loves doing it with the devil. It's a love-hate relationship. Trinity has a hate-hate relationship with the devil. The fuck is you talking about? We don't fuck with this energy, this entity, this person. Trinity, you've never seen Trinity and motherfucking Agent Smith in the same place without either A, Trinity putting the burners on his ass, dipping from his ass, or her trying to kill him. When Trinity see Agent, she either kill you or she dip it. It ain't no kicking it type shit, going back and forth type shit, talking type shit. That's the relationship masculine has with the devil, i.e. Agent Smith. Trinity, it's a whole nother distance. Like I said, the devil's only out here for the masculine. It's in his energy. Looks like Agent Smith is with your masculine. In the midst of your masculine getting, in the midst of you getting called home. Your masculine's supposed to be at home. Four of Wands. Obviously, he didn't listen to the call from last reading. Let's continue. Six of Wands. Winning. These are victories, celebrations, and wins. Look how geeked the devil is. <laughs> the top one. He geeked. Hell yeah. I'm here, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's a win for the devil. Devil back in your masculine's life. Just like the devil in any one of your lives, because I don't fuck with the fucker like that. You allow him in. You'd be surprised how many people I know who fuck with the devil personally. They ain't psychics. They're regular fucking people. But they love fucking with the devil. Whether that's summoning him up, summoning him up, or his peeps up for shit, just for the fun of it. I'm a divine fucking feminine. Ain't shit funny about that. My masculine friends are different. That's why I'm a feminine and I'm a motherfucking masculine. I don't move like my like most men. I don't. Most shit, most niggas be on that shit. I ain't even on. I ain't even feeling. I'm a different type of creature. On every fucking level. Say all that shit. Say this. Masculine having a good time doing whatever the fuck you doing, but eventually the devil gonna want something. That's how the devil twerk. You're not going to summon up the devil, none of his legion associates without a price to pay. Now, whether you lose your mind or your motherfucking children or your own soul, it's all on you. That's what happens when you play with fire. Moving on, feminine. You in regards to yourself, we have a karmic feminine here. In regards to your masculine, <laughs> you know that this devil ain't nothing but a motherfucking karmic feminine. Or, you know, this devil ain't nothing but a bossy, this is the Khalees bossy card in my deck, nothing but a bossy energy that your masculine is holding on to right now. Stank old booty energy you've dealt with before. Same old, same old. 
put some more smoke on this. Type all that. You're fully aware that it ain't just bossy energy. It's a king of cup energy. Your masculine stay on. That's coming towards you. This ain't even your energy. Some of your masculine energy is rubbing off on you energetically. Y'all go through each other's emotions. Whether that's you crying out of nowhere because your masculine is bawling and crying like a little baby right now. But you don't know. You think it's your motherfucking emotions when it ain't. It's his or hers because he can be a she, she can be. You know how we rock it. The same way you feel those, you know, those type of feelings, it's the same with anger and tough love. At least me lately, I'm very kind of angry. And like on some cold blooded shit lately. Just on some fuck feelings. Yeah, you know what I mean? If it ain't about the purpose, if it ain't about the kingdom, like I really don't give a fuck about it. Like I say, I don't really give a fuck about the world like that. I ain't here to save the world. God finna do that. I ain't here to bring justice for the globe. God, that's God's department. What's my department? Being on my purpose. Helping other people find their purpose so we can at least be on purpose in the world. If anything, if anything, we can just be on purpose. At least if we on purpose, we doing shit for the kingdom. That'd be a lot more people doing shit for the kingdom as to just existing in the world. Each one teach one. As long as I reach one person who can reach another person. Or I can reach the masses so they can reach more. That's what it's about. Me taking upon myself to save a world or save a cause when it don't work like that, twerk like that. That's a worldly way of handling some shit. No. <laughs> some energy you got feminine hate yours. And some of your masculine energy is rubbing off on you. Analyze what that is and move forward. Masculine, you in regards to the feminine energy, you stressed. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, the wrong way. Or gaining weight, the wrong way. You got a bridge here. You're stressing over that bridge again. That feminine bridge again. Now, that's how weird the masculine be. It's like you ditched your feminine for this karmic or the devil and or the devil energy. And... And like I said, devil energy is like addictions. It could be a drug. It could be somebody can't like he's chained to. He can't get enough of. Maybe they did something to the boy or manipulated him or mentally fucked him in a way to where you know he's fucked up. <laughs> can't leave this person. You know what I'm saying? It's a person, vice versa. Ooh, probably crazy. He probably hit her with the dope dill. <laughs> the dope dick and shit. And it's like she crazy is bad. Shit. And you can't get rid of her ass. You stressing over it. It's like you created a monster. Yes, you did. I told you. <laughs> can't play with the devil and not pay that motherfucker or something. The devil always wants something. The Lord the fuck the devil wants is the completely opposite of what the fuck God wants. God. Uh, the devil ain't God. He's a bitch. Like, you have more power than Satan, Lucifer, and the devil. They're three different people from three different places with three different agendas and shit. They are the dragon. The other side. Siths, as I like to say, they're Sith material. We're Jedi's out here. You're not gonna fuck with Siths and expect not to get Sith on. Like, what I mean by that is like, you a corny ass motherfucker from the burbs. You want to get on some gangster shit. You want gang bang all of a sudden. But it's like you hanging with gang bangers. It's gangster shit going around. What the fuck you thought was going to happen? You getting your first shootout. You end up catching your first body. You end up getting caught with drugs or holding drugs and other shit or guns down from other people to where you get arrested. Like, <laughs> this path you going on, playing with the streets. You know, it's only going to end up casualty of the streets. You're going to end up dead or in jail fucking with the streets. Or that or that gang life. Or you being a shooter or whatever the fuck. Whatever you're doing in the world, it's worldly. Whether you stay in the world long enough, you're going to die in the world by that shit. You a whole little slut, little thot thot. You know what I'm saying? And you don't care. Like, it's an ideology like for those who want to be hoes. I said Amber Rose a hoe for her wanting to represent this whole slut life shit. But that's not how Queens is rolling in the, in the 2000. 
<laughs> in the nine nine and the two thousand and on, nigga, that's not how women, that's not how queens is rolling these days. You know what I'm saying? So you got worldly people, karmics. You got divine people. Your masculine stressing over a karmic. Why is he stressing over a karmic? Because he's still trying to figure out what the fuck your divine ass is. Moving on. We got God here for a minute. In regards to your masculine, feminine, let go and let God. This is a tower moment. This is judgment. This is um, divine intervention. This is just God coming in and stepping in on your masculine's behalf. Feminine, as long as you queen of swording, which is the Lucy Luke card, this is basically doing everything in your mental power, doing everything you can on your end. To where you just let go and let God, because that's the next step. You can only can do what you can do. After that, it's up to God. And that's the step you at right now. When it comes to your masculine. If it ain't a twin flame thing, this is when it comes to your, I don't know, your older son who acting up and on some bullshit lately that you're trying to build a connection with and this motherfucker lost. You know what I mean? Or it's like your pops who ain't fucking with you because of your life path and where you going and shit. And he old fashioned and on all that goof shit, that goofy shit. It's like you put that shit in God's hands. It's, it's far beyond you. Masculine. You in regards to yourself, you got the nine of wands. Only fucking warrior. You got the nine of swords. Weak energy. <laughs> Stress. Then you got the nine of wands, which is the woman warrior. Like you playing victim. That's all this smells like to me. You trying to play victim here. This is the energy of It's like me when I was a kid I'm soft I I used to cry To where down there I got myself sick from crying You know, just being in that I'm a Leo We soak in our shit We learn this as kids I used to soak in my shit be mad as hell, crying. I'll be in the closet crying. Somewhere away from my little brother, because this nigga. <laughs> yeah, different dads. Ain't like, I can fuck bro up. His pops would fuck me up if I fucked him up. So, you know, bro had a lot of shit going on with his shit. So it's just like, I'll just be mad in the closet crying. My sister know that was my spot. My twin sister knew that was my spot. Bro know that was my spot. And it's like, my mom. I think she found my spot one time. She opened up the door and shit. She, the fuck, nigga? Get your ass out of here. You need to talk. Like, that's how my mom was. Like, it was direct action. Yo, are you okay? What the fuck going on, nigga? You want to call the crying and shit? I'm like, man, it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I made myself sick, soaking in my shit to where I'm crying. Like, making myself cry more or just suffer more inside. I don't know how to explain it. It's called the soaking in your shit. You know? But that's little kid shit. Like, I don't do that no more. I don't soak at all. I catch myself soaking. I'm shaking myself off that shit. Soaking comes from before a sword and being in your motherfucking head too long. And that's out of mind. Out of mind is the workshop. I'm saying all this shit to say this. There's all kind of wounds. But then you got self-inflicted wounds. We ain't talking about Slit your wrist and shit like that. You talking about like for example, cigarettes with me. You know, I'm smoking squares like it ain't killing me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm drinking this Indiana tap tap water because I'm drinking tap my whole life. I'm drinking this Indiana tap though, Gary tap. As if it ain't fucked up or something. Like, I ain't feeling... Like, I ain't killing myself. <laughs> you know? I know better. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I do shit anyway. Like, going back to fuck with my BD homies. I'm GD. Going back to fuck with my BD homies and shit. I just pop up on the BD. It's GDK. I don't know why the fuck niggas don't fuck with the folks no more. But whatever. It's like me, it's like me popping up on my old BD homies. Or, some shit. or me just going to the hood. I got my own crib, whip, gig, business, some grown man shit. My niggas on some grown man shit, but they kind of not because it's like they still on the same shit that they was on when I met them. 
Like me popping up on their ass, trying to be not even on some cool shit, just popping up to see what's going on. And then he ended up fucked up. I put myself in harm, paying no mind to shit I know I should be paying mind to. I know I shouldn't be drinking this tap. I know I shouldn't be smoking those clubs. I know I shouldn't be even going back to fuck with nobody in the urban. Because <laughs> that ain't my path right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's like actions. That's what these are. Wands are actions, behavior, current motion, current movement. Masculine due to a set of actions. Current behavior. Current movement. You fucked up. What are you going? Feminine. Going to the future. You in a mental prison. This is a self-imposed prison. This is having walls up against your heart to keep you from getting broke, which you can't do. I mean, it's pointless. This is putting blinders on your face to act like you don't see some shit when you do. It's pointless. This is thinking somebody got your back when they probably don't even fuck with you like that. But you don't even know because you don't... Like, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you don't even know if you're friends with another person or not, but you expecting them to have your back. Like you about to marry this guy, but you really don't know too much about him. Like putting yourself in a mental prison. But you gotta be know you in a, you need to, you gotta know you in a prison to get yourself out of it. And it's all mental. Don't nobody know you in a prison but you because you're in it in the world. It's like this is mental shit. You're in a mental motherfucking prison in a relationship or in a situation or out of function. It's a step after this, and that's what your masculine is going through, which is stress. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, or gaining weight the wrong way. You know, it's like you're scared of this and this energy. That's the that's the self-imposed prison. Thinking ahead. Thinking thinking about bad ahead. Say that shit again. Thinking about bad ahead. That's gonna create nothing but anxiety. <laughs> thinking of what could happen bad or thinking of bad shit ahead. What could happen in the future? Or what if this happened in the future? That's anxiety. You're creating for yourself. Mental stress. This this anxiety is what's fucking your masculine up. Don't let it fuck you up. That's why you gotta stay in the moment. Plan for the future, but mentally be in the moment. Actions in the moment. When you're creating shit in the moment. You look in the past, you're going to get depressed of what, of what could be. You're going to fuck around and get anxiety wondering what the fuck could be. Stay in the moment. Final card, we got the full card. Your masculine is acting a little foolish. It's the energy that he's going to grow from. But this is a joker. Just like the devil card. And they both out here. These are jokers. There's no progress from these. You either unaware <laughs> Or in a whole new world like Aladdin where you don't know what the fuck going on. That's the energy of this card. And it's, it's a card all by itself. This ain't a wand. This ain't a, a, a sword. This ain't a cup. This ain't none of that shit. These are like stalemate cards. Checkmate cards. And you got the devil. The only way to move past these is to eliminate them. How do you eliminate not knowing what's going on? You get some awareness. How do you eliminate the devil? You go towards where God is. Like you go where God is. The devil ain't in God's presence or in the kingdom. <laughs> you can find the devil all in the world, but you ain't gonna find the devil in the kingdom. Final message. You got Zion, you got the Matrix. For those divine masculines that love being in the world so much, you should really take a look. Just look up. <laughs> look up. Or Really pay attention to what your feminine doing because your feminine is here all the time. This is what, like, you looking for this place, but your feminine know how, like, your feminine go here all the time. It's like you look for the fountain of youth, but you ain't realize that your feminine know where the fountain of youth at and been drinking it for a long time. That's my message. Hope I could be a good use. It's your boy, Deepon. Deuces.